Hey guys, welcome back to Help Tech. So in this video today, I want to show you folks on how to add games to Dolphin Emulator. So to be able to pull this off, what you guys are going to need to do is to head in configuration and most of you guys will start on general, head to paths, say add, and for example, my games are in this particular path, but yours is going to be in a different one if they're all scattered across your computer for ROM slash ISO files. Highly recommend to put them together so you can easily organize them and tell Dolphin to easily go after them. And if you ever add the game to that file, uh, Dolphin will usually pick it up right away. So that's just what I recommend, guys. You don't have to follow that advice of mine. Just means this list of where the games need to be found is going to be a lot longer for you. So I've had told Dolphin Emulator to go to this particular file uh, folder setup. And you'll probably notice right away that there's actually no games in this folder. Well, to show you guys what's exactly in this folder from what the computer is actually seeing, not what Dolphin's seeing, you can see that there's a fair bit of games that I've added into Dolphin. So once you've found that path and you're sitting right on the main folder that all your games are in, hit the select folder, which I'm not going to do because I've already done it. And you will basically add it in right here. If you exit out and your games have not populated itself yet, hit the refresh button and then they should add into Dolphin. Now one of the biggest things that I like about adding games other than ease of access through Dolphin, the reason I like having them here is because I actually can see a ton of information about the game. How big it is, where it came from, who made it. If I ever need to mod the game slightly because of a crash or I want a widescreen modification in the game you can do that through neo geo codes ar codes possibly patches you can also add into the game which i rarely have ever done with dolphin but that option is actually open to you uh patches are more for the wii games if anything but you can um i, I probably there is patches for gamecube games as well uh you can also access the wicca page which goes hand in hand with um just putting in Neo Geo codes or uh, AR codes so you can get these codes and add them directly to uh, Dolphin Emulator which I'll show you guys on how to do in a separate video from this one but you can um, you can also do that the other thing why I like about this as well which I am saying that a fair bit but the thing that I also enjoy about it is that if you ever need the game ID it's here this comes in real handy for texture packs if you ever decide to find them on the internet and upgrade the game's resolution of textures and stuff. This is something that you'd need, which we are currently working on a video to show you how to add texture packs to Super Mario Sunshine and this is something you need to know. Alright, so before I go, I want to let you guys know that I do have a video on how to get GameCube games for free. If you guys want to check out that video, I'll leave you guys a link at the top of your guys' screen and also one down in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for today. If you guys did, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.